Hi everybody, it's Philly from Create and Create here and this is the first of our Christmas videos! So guys, Christmas is coming! I love Christmas, I'm very very excited about it. Mainly excited about the fact that I get to do some sewing. So, tiddly one wanted some Christmas pyjamas. She'd seen some fabric online and I couldn't manage to get that one, but I did get this. <gasps> Ooh, right, right, right. It's a spun poly cotton. No, no, it's not. What is it? Spun polyester, but it's got stretch to it. I've never used it before. I think it's gonna be good for pajamas. She's gonna really like it. She did see this one. Oh look, it's got a lot of stretch to it. Is it a two-way stretch? Yeah, a bit of a two-way stretch. Um, I think it'll be really easy to work with actually. She saw one, it was so, so it was a black background and it had reindeers on it. And then by the time I got to it, they'd sold out. So I managed to get the last four meters of this. I mean, I'm hoping, so she's only six. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get two if not three pairs of pyjamas out of this. Not all for her, maybe some for the nine year old, some for me. We'll see, we'll see. I've got, so that's the spun, whatever it is, Christmas fabric. I've also got a sewing pattern that I picked up from the charity shop a while ago. Um, as you can see, he's been well loved. He is a, what is it? A style. 2838. I'll see if I can find a picture of that actually. Or if I can find a picture of any old um, like makes from it from anyone else that's done it. But they've got a little cropped top there and some trousers. So I thought I would just use that as like a base model and see how we go. So this pattern is um, for it doesn't say it's for jerseys but that's fine it's more the it's not like the pattern that I want to follow it's the shape if you know what I mean so where so can you see where it does up at the back there so I won't need to do those so it says it's got a hook and eye sort of opening so I won't need to do that and then the trousers have got little belt loops as well again won't need to do that so you can just hop through those so we should be done in no time right Right, all the pattern pieces are cut out. We've got two sleeves, a front, a back. Um, they were supposed to be interfacing, or not interfacing, but like a facing around the neck. But because it's going to be like t-shirt style, I've just cut a band to be the neckline and four lengths of leg. Ta-da! First things first, I need to sew down the sides of the front and back and along the shoulders of the front and back. And then I need to get my band, fold that in half and sew along that as well. Right, so I have the t-shirt, wait, is that the front or the back? It's the front. I need to give the neckline a good press because I cut the neckline on the 
wrong grain. So I had to unpick it and put it back on, but that's okay. Um, so I've just got to put the sleeves in now, which I will do by folding over, sewing in, and then placing into the arm hole, sewing round it, hemming it, job done. t-shirts done and now onto the trousers so I just need to sew down the short side sew down the long side and do that on both of them and then turn one inside out put one inside the other and then go up around the gusset I've done the two sides, I've turned one leg inside out and put it in to the other leg. Then I matched the crotch seams and then pinned everything together so it's all matching. And then I'm just gonna whiz that through the machine. Right, trousers are done, apart from a couple of threads that I need to get rid of. Uh, the last thing is to do the waistband, fold it over go around, leave a little gap, and then put some elastic in. Luckily, they're home from school now, so I can go and measure her waist to see how much elastic I need to put in. And then we're finished. Do you like them, big kid? Yes! What's the best bit? That's no flakes! That's no flakes! <laughs> I think. I think she likes them. <laughs> Bless. And now the nine year old has said, Oh, I definitely need a pair of those. So, 
guess what I'm doing tonight? <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, and thank you for coming on the journey. I will see you maybe tomorrow, maybe in a few days, with yet another Christmas video. See you soon. Bye.